Morning everyone, welcome back to North Sea Angling. Uh, today's video is going to be made up of two parts. Uh, first one's going to be uh, me and my brother-in-law taking his little brother down the river uh, for his first time ever saltwater fishing. Hopefully getting used to mechanics of casting and be able to show him a few fish uh, just to encourage him to, you know, come again. The second part of the video is going to be uh, another one of the group admins and YouTubers uh, for the North Sea Angling page, uh, Steve Chambers, is heading up to North Norfolk uh, to go on a little hound hunt. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Flying motorcycles and love among the temples, we lit the fire. And coke and margarita, my darling signorino, walk in the wild. And the moonlight lovers choose. Alright, everyone, this is my mark. Alright, guys, you can see the green boy over there and the red one over there. The idea is to basically cast somewhere in the line between those because that's where the deep channel is and the faster running water is and the bass like to hide out. Right, let's get unpacked, wait for my brother-in-law to come down with the bait and hopefully catch some schoolies. Try and get them bass, eh? Sorry, guys, didn't really manage to get the uh, first bite on, but first cast for my brother in law. Let's see if he's got anything. Oh, no, he's got one. Oh, yeah, Tiddler. At least we know they're here, no matter what the size is. <laughs> <laughs> Another absolute stonker. <laughs> well, still three fish, mate. Goodbye, little fella. And he's off. Well done, mate. Yeah, of course you can. Well, That'll do, mate. Not too bad. Yep. yep. And then once you've got your rod where you want it, remember to take the slack up. And then I'll just reel in a tiny bit more just to get rid of the slack from when you put it down. Perfect. Leave it there. Lovely. Well done, mate. Let's see. What's the 
whole of Facebook to laugh at them. <laughs> <laughs> Not put much of a fight, it's all. <laughs> Another little tiddler. That is, that is actually the biggest one. That's definitely the biggest so one. So much so, Sam, you're going to measure it for me. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> Sounds like, do you really want me to measure that? Okay. Depending 30, mate. 25 you got off the top then. <laughs> 25 I say. <laughs> Do you want to put it back then? Of course I will. Right on, mate. Yeah, just chuck it that way. Go Actually, right yeah, that way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, jump over. Go on, go in with it. No. There you go. And he's away. <laughs> I just lost a huge, a huge bite. I feel like crying. That was a beast of a bite. That was an absolutely massive bite. Rub it in, rub it in. It's so amazing though, isn't it? How they can get it, but not the, not actually get the sharp bit of the hook. They've obviously bitten the, the, the edge of the hook. Yeah, I know. Like so, yeah, yeah. like Bollocks. That was a big bite. That would have been a good bass. That might have been edible size. Damn. Oh, cool little story about Aspals. Um, the orchard is the freshwater spring um, that actually provides this river. So, this gorgeous river provides us with gorgeous cider and fish. I can't believe I missed that bite. Right, that's me now, home showered and changed. Um, all in all, not a bad day. I mean, we achieved the target of getting Josh's little brother um, to see some fish, getting the mechanics of casting. Only caught, uh, we only caught five between us and they're all pretty uh, feeble on the good old size front. But the size wasn't the only thing that mattered today. That old chestnut. <laughs> Anyways, let's head to North Norfolk to see how Steve gets on. Hi everyone. So I've popped down to Weybourne. I say popped down. I've popped up to Weybourne on the North Norfolk coast this evening. And um, sort of like sandwiched in between Trimmingham and Kellen. Um, on a hound hunt. We're we're out of hounds tonight. Um, it's a lovely evening for it. Weather's looking good. It's a nice roll on the water. Um, I'm fishing just solely crab and squid tonight and I'm hoping that we'll get a few nice fish on camera for you this evening and um, it's looking really nice I've come with a couple of guys that I know good friends of mine Liam and Mark and um, Mark's gonna have a crack with the worms we're gonna try and mix it up a little bit so Mark's gonna go with worm and squid Liam's fishing just worm and I'm having to go on the crab so I'm hoping that I'll get the edge on all of them but hey hey it is what it is. We're out. We're going to have a good time. And yeah, hopefully we'll get some nice fish on for you. Um, I'll take you back on film soon. So that. Hi, hi, yeah. So Mark's had a little flounder 10 minutes ago. I had the funniest rattle, funniest bite ever so strange. Um, I left it, didn't do nothing. Then it went again. I was like, oh, this is, oh, I just took it. I just took it. Um, and this is a first for me. What a pretty little fish. Now, I think it's a scorpion fish. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, all sorts of names on it, but regardless, what a pretty, pretty fish. It's a little beauty. Him, look. Back again. Liam just had a tidy little knock. Um, tidy little take. Good bite. Um, He's just a bit. The boy's just got his first ever hound. It's what we came for, boys. Not the biggest one in the world, but hey, hey, it's what we came for. 
E fish on. Let's go. Hi again, guys. So um, it's been good fishing so far. The pounding, the whiting, and the doggies are out in force. And we've had several each between us. We're now coming up to what I think is going to be the best kind of hour or two. It's high water probably as we speak. The sun's just dipping down on the horizon. Um, I'm excited. Uh, Liam's had a couple of hounds, um, nothing big, um, and a couple of dogfish. Um, I thought I was into a hound a minute ago. Cracking bite, bum bum, big slack line. Struck into it, nice bit of weight. Turned out to be one of them. <laughs> First spring codling I've had for a couple of years. Chuffed to bits with that. Happy days. Darkness has fell. White and seem to have buggered off a little bit at last. So we're starting to get a few hound pups coming now. Um, and just another species to add to the mix. Nice big fat chunky dab. Beautiful fish. Lively as well. But another species. That's, uh, I've lost count actually. I'll, I'll come back to you with how many species we've got. Hi guys, so yeah, we're just um, having the last couple of casts now. Some of us have got work in the morning, so as much as I'd love to sit here all night and fish, I can't. Um, and we haven't actually seen a bass between us, so that's, that's quite surprising really. Um, and none of the hounds that we have had have been any bigger than two pound or so, so um, a little bit disappointed on that front. But then we have had lots of fish. We've had pal, whiting, dabs, scorpion fish, codlin, um, I'm sure I forgot a couple of flounder we've seen. So it's been good fun. It's been a great little session. Um, I'll definitely come back again. Hit, but it's always nice to fish somewhere that I haven't fished for a few years um, and, and to get back on the beach and just be just being in amongst the fish. That's great fun. Really good fun. Liam and Mark have had a ball. Um, so until next time, guys, see you later.